I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Biden impeachment. The Republicans are going to take down the most corrupt president ever. I mean, except for the guy with the four indictments and the 91 felonies who stole top secret documents and tried to overthrow democracy. To the Capitol. Yeah, the GOP finally has the goods on this ice cream eating hump. They have witnesses and all kinds of other stuff. Let's take a look at what the Republicans have on Joe Vanilla Bean Biden. They have a witness that said Biden and his son, whose favorite ice cream flavor is crack hooker with sprinkles, got $5 million from a company called Burisma and are corrupt as hell. Again, not as corrupt as the guy who tried to pay a porn star under the table uh, to help his campaign and who charged his secret service detail triple to stay at resorts he actually owned while he golfed 300 out of the 1,200 days he was president. But back to this corrupt Corvette driving criminal. What do they have on this crime boss? Well, <laughs> turns out Alexander Smirnoff, who the GOP said had the goods on El Jefe Biden. Well, it turns out Alexander Smirnoff invented the claim that Biden and his son Hunter took $5 million in bribes. That allegation was promoted then far and wide by Republicans, many of whom treated it as a fact. You know, the people who said this guy's insurrection was a violent crime against the Constitution. The mob was fed lies. They were provoked by the president. President bears responsibility for Wednesday's attack on Congress by mob rioters. And then a couple days later said it was a field trip uh, where a spirited food fight broke out. So here's what the Republicans have on Joe Waffle Cone Biden. Their main witness has admitted to getting the information from the Russians. He has been indicted on being a Russian agent and is currently in custody awaiting trial. Why? Because it's the weaponized DOJ. No, he was about to leave the country. And he also had nine guns in his apartment. That's eight more guns than Hunter Biden had. And hunters weren't loaded. But Hunter still leads on bad sex videos on a mysterious laptop. Well, except for these guys. But the GOP doesn't have just one witness. Oh, no, they can take down the Biden crime family with this ironclad bastion of integrity. Gail Luft, yeah, who was indicted for arms trafficking and foreign lobbying. Oops. But the GOP isn't done. They have Hunter's old business partner, Devin Archer. Yeah, who was sentenced in 2022 to a year in prison for defrauding a Native American tribe. But wait, there's more. <laughs> they have four other witnesses. Andre Dekach who is an actual Russian agent. Oh, Oleksandr Dubinsky, who was charged by the U Ukraine for treason for helping Russia in its war against Ukraine. Then you got Rudy Giuliani, henchman Lev Parnas, and Igor Furman, who have both pled guilty to campaign finance violations involving Russian money. And Lev and Igor said Joe Biden had nothing to do with any of it. Then you got Manafort in prison, Deripaska and Konstantin Kalimnik, <laughs> who have been indicted but eh, they skedaddled back to Russia to avoid prosecution. You know, like innocent people do. So except for the fact that every witness the GOP brings forward is a convicted criminal Russian agent, got their evidence from Russian agents, or is a total bullshit artist, the Republicans got Joe Biden nailed to the wall. <laughs> I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon update. Ah. God, they keep trying to impeach a dude, and every time they get a witness, he's a criminal or a Russian agent, or or he <laughs> or he has to show up with Giuliani to a dildo shop. <laughs> Everybody, Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. How are you with me as always? Lovely bombshell, Ray. What's up, people? And a Highlander. That could be only one. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I uh, Big news today. Big news. Big news today. Well, big news. We can deal with that first. Okay. Uh, Mitch McConnell has said he's going to uh, leave. Uh, he's not leaving. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say eventually. Yeah. He's not really leaving. He's what? Uh, Wait, he's, he's not leaving? I thought no, he was no, leaving. No, he's, yeah, he's he's 82, so he's going to just finish out this term, which only which has four, four more, more years. years. So he's going to be 86. But you know what? Chuck but Grassley, Grassley's old but at 81. But, 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 yeah, Chuck yeah, Grassley. That's, go. that's exactly what Chuck Grassley reelected at 88. He will complete his term at 94, and they're 
fine with him. You know what? This is that that fucking amazing healthcare that they have. Yeah. Exactly. They can live for fucking like vampire that years. That is true. You know what I'm that saying? That is 100% true. Regular people get the shit it is in. It's elderly twilight in the in the <laughs> yes. house. They are they are they, they're just they just keep going. It's, it's like, not what, the best and, form of twilight, <laughs> I must say. What politician age are you? Oh, I'm I'm a politician. I'm 20 as a politician. So you have like good health care, right? So you actually have all your stuff to take care of. They've got special organs that they they're getting like stuff from like a Raytheon and Lockheed. They're putting in brilliant organs that are only that none of us can get. Yeah, the people like walking behind them every time, like if, when they're in public, those are their doctors that are no, just those like are the checking organ, them. And organ donors. And they're organ like, donor. they, they, they just keep this they're guy near. Just IV. take this guy near you in case you need a new <laughs> kidney. And that's how, and Chuck Rousey's going to be in there till 196. They have bandages. They've yeah. already given <laughs> stuff. They're living. Uh. Uh, you're right. That's a good point. Uh, good health care. So Mitch McConnell said he's, he, here, here's the thing about it that bothers me the most about Mitch McConnell saying what he said today is that people start talking. He starts talking with this nostalgia about what a good thing. And I've always stood for America and blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's like, like the Sith Lord. Uh, 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 he's going to retire. He's like, by the way, I know I did my best for the galaxy all the time and all those <laughs> millions of killed. And when I blew up Tantooine, it had to be done. <laughs> but I'm going to be retiring. Mr. Vader, <laughs> Vader will be taking over for me. <laughs> but remember me as a good man who loved the galaxy. Mm. It's like, <laughs> These Citizens guys, United, we're yeah, good for it, everyone. But it's almost like he's trying to, like, your le- dude, your legacy is one of fucking up everything yes. you could, of hypocrisy, oh. of never doing the right thing, letting that you don't let Bob, Obama gets his uh, a Supreme Court pick and he and he blocks it. Oh yeah. And then the next the guy comes he, in. Wait, because he says we cannot nominate a Supreme Court justice during an election year. During, yeah, and then six weeks before the election, the yes. literal voting day, yep. he lets Trump put. To, well, he put three on in that yep. last year. Yep. But so, so my whole thing is that and like Citizens United, Citizens United. Mitch McConnell is so full of shit. Still is full of shit. And I have to be honest, man. Uh, I, I had, I, I had, it kind of came up in me. I was like, oh, because we here. Here's how bad Ray and I. Here's the problem with this podcast. We follow politics so much that we know how bad Mitch McConnell is, but we also know. How fucked up and bad What's everybody else on the wings. Yeah, who's waiting in the wings? And we started going over it. So she pulls it up on her phone and we start listing all these people I, that could take over oh, for so him. Who? He goes, okay, no, so no, 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 it'll be it'll be fine. And I go, hold on. And I start going down the list. <laughs> Ted Cruz, Holly. Josh oh, Hawley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um that I yep. was uh, listening to the news on the way here, and they suggested that probably out of like three different Johns, oddly enough, Thune, uh, Cornyn, nobody ideal, but here's what I'm here's what I'm wondering. So he's not leaving, even though he's Four years. already he's died gonna twice. Die. I think on he's going to die in office. Yeah, yeah. We saw him. We yeah, saw him. He literally. does not look well. He went into the light twice while he was yeah. giving a speech. <laughs> <laughs> mama. Uh, oh, he, mama. Uh, yeah, mama. He. Um, I think so. He and Trump. Trump hates him because yeah. McConnell also is the reason Trump didn't get impeached and removed. Because he came out and said that um, he should be tried by a court. Uh, if if he committed a criminal act, he should be tried by a court. That he's no longer president now. This was after January 6th. So we can't remove him from office. So he basically was the one that led that movement. So Trump was never technically impeached in removed he wasn't convicted in the senate and so and, trump and the, 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 hates him though but also the effed up part about that is now trump's lawyers are saying that exactly you can't he can't be because committed of a crime because he wasn't he convicted wasn't in convicted in the, in the senate oh my god so it's, like, McConnell, it's just like dog chasing <laughs> yeah, his tail yeah. but because mcconnell set out came out and said he bears full responsibility for what happened he and trump they don't get along. So I think he knows that if Trump gets this nomination, then he's effed anyway. So he right now could go ahead and put someone young that's somewhat old guard Republican in place to kind of mother F Trump and everybody November. else. He yes. Said, he said he's doing, he's staying around till November where he's going to put somebody in place. Okay. Instead so November. of, but I, on the news, they were saying on the way over here, a bunch of different political pundits were talking and they were saying, it's going to be a mess. Look what happened in the House with them trying to get with this MAGA faction and trying to get a speaker put mm-hmm. in place. Mm-hmm. They couldn't get McCarthy in 14 times. Then yep. they kick him out in a month. Historical removal of a because speaker. Because he was actually trying to do his job. Exactly. And so imagine now. Yeah. Because you've got people like Cruz and Holly 
in oh my god and then in the house you got Boulder and green you got all these and, no but i mean specifically in, in the, the senate, senate and trying to get this done Steve, uh, it's it, 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 the republicans continue to i've never seen such a shit show continue to shovel shit on itself they just mm -hmm. like so because by the way the government and shuts down else. on friday government shuts down on again. friday again uh -huh. it's wednesday we're doing this on wednesday them. so on uh, so they can't get a budget passed uh mike johnson uh mike where's johnson. waldo said he could uh he would be glad to do another uh what do you, what do you call it uh uh, uh when they, when they kick the can down the road Oh, a, a resolution. Stop gap, basically, uh, a resolution uh, where they agree just continue to continue what's going on again to March. So, so can 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 we be clear, guys? Listen, say what you will, uh, but the Democrats at one point will do their fucking job. The Republicans have not done it at all, and yeah. it's a clown show every time they try and do anything. Like, it, I I don't understand how people s stand behind this party any longer. It's it's embarrassing. The fourteen times for McCarthy, embarrassing. Mm -hmm. The then border then bill, embarrassing. The removal of McCarthy, embarrassing. Then the impeachment. All, every witness that they called came in and said, "No, Biden." Well, I never saw didn't Biden. I didn't know when Biden was a part <laughs> Wait, of it. You guys what, vetted this witness. Now we're, now we're back to the Armageddon update. What's really funny to me is that so they, they so they vetted all these witnesses. Uh, what's that guy's name? Com Comer. Comer. Comer, Comer keeps just talking about how he's, how, you know, he, Joe Biden's a no, criminal. do it the way he does Joe it. Biden, the criminal, and he did what he did. And you know what? We got, we got yeah, evidence. Yeah, but sir, uh, Mr. Comer, um, actually your witness, your star witness, uh, yeah. he has now admitted to being a Russian. No, 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 no. We know about it. How, 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 where, explain the $200,000. Explain the $200,000. It was a loan repayment he gave his son to get back. No, home. no, no, no. But we have. Proof it's that we've tracked it and it's not linked at all. No, no, he, he, but Joe Biden is criminal. So, so sir, we're going to move <laughs> on, right? We're not going to spend any more taxpayers' time. No, we are not. We have we have got to impeach this man because Donald Trump has video of me <laughs> and an, and a small animal. <laughs> I just wish they I would love. be honest <laughs> like that. That's what we're waiting. <laughs> Lindsey Graham, just come on, lady. Yeah, G. Yeah. He, he, he was he was sixteen when I dated him. He's my he's my he's my he's my life partner now, but he's twenty seven. But when I met him, he was sixteen. <laughs> they would just give it up. But here's 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 why they have to keep this impeachment up. Mm -hmm. Here's why. So. The last guy that was impeached was Nixon. Nixon got impeached once. Trump was impeached twice. So that's insane. Like in, in the history of America, he's the only guy impeached twice. And it's and he's only the second guy to get impeached. Also a Republican. And the first guy to get impeached twice. Mm -hmm. So what they have to do now, it's why they wanted to impeach Mayorkas. It's why they want to impeach Biden. They want to impeach the, the guy who cleans you up. You get impeached. You, you get, get impeached. Exactly. It's just because they want to beat that to death. Yeah. So impeachment doesn't mean anything exactly. Donald Trump anymore. was the third president impeached. Oh, who else? I thought that. Who else? Andrew Johnson in oh, 1868. Johnson. And then, of course. That was for the Civil War, right? Bill Jefferson. That was for the Civil War. Clinton. He was impeached too? Oh, that's right. He got impeached. Yeah, not but he didn't get convicted. Senate, yeah, though, right? he, well, neither. Uh, uh, but Nixon, they told Nixon Nixon was going to. They let Nixon walk away. Oh, that so, was, there's, that was, so there's been four presidents. No, three. Three, no? Well, four impeachments. Nixon wasn't Donald impeached. Donald Trump that's has right. 50% of all. I got I to gotta yeah. read more. Nixon wasn't impeached. That's right. He resigned before, oh, before, before he was that, impeached. To avoid he it. resigned. Because back they then, told that's him. what people did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he was promised a pardon. It's weird to say that Nixon had integrity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Compared yeah. to these guys, Nixon had integrity. Mm -hmm. That's that is odd. Okay, so 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 Clinton, Clinton got impeached. Uh, he was told Nixon was told by remember the Republican senators went to his office and yep. said, "We have the votes. You're going to be convicted and removed." Yeah. And so he got on that helicopter, did that very mm -hmm. aggressive wave in mm -hmm. that, and left. Yep. Those were the good old days, weren't they? So so, so okay. So I'm wrong then. So it was Clinton. Clinton got impeached, but didn't get convicted. Correct. Uh, and Trump's been impeached twice. It depends then, on what your definition of is is. Oh that my was God. my favorite. Oh my God, in yeah. bro! Political history. Bro. Yeah. Like you, you, you <laughs> see all the lawyers. His lawyers just went like this. Uh, Pretty God. smart that guy. Yeah. <laughs> definition of what is is. Yeah. <laughs> he <Yeah>. gets it. <laughs> <laughs> totally understand what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so then we got. So then we got. So we got. So we got Clinton. We've got a Johnson. Johnson was that was civil war. That was a valid impeachment. 
All right, this was like civil war. Hey, he tried to overthrow the government, you know, like Donald Trump did. So, what bothers me the most about this whole thing with the the Burisma and Hunter Biden and Hunter Biden, I guess there's a statement you should bring it up. He 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 said a statement today. You should read it because it's pretty it's pretty serious. Mm. This partisan hackiness, basically. Oh yeah, it was good. He, he went off on them because they're just. They have no evidence. Every time they get yeah. a guy, the, the real folks go, we got a new guy. And he goes, he goes, so tell him where you saw Joe Biden. Oh, we never saw Joe Biden. Joe Biden. We never signed any paperwork for Joe yeah, Biden. Yeah. Joe Biden wasn't part of it. Yeah. What cartoon villain are they going <laughs> to wheel up? <laughs> and then. Okay. So. I'm but just... for all the, all their witnesses, for all their witnesses to have Russian names, the one, the one guy oh, was, yeah. they, they had, to, they had, to, they let him go on his own recognizance with an ankle monitor. Then. They had to re- no. They rearrested him and put him in jail because he was leaving. They found nine guns in his apartment. Um, this guy uh, admitted to the judge that he got the information about Hunter and Joe Biden from Damn Russia. Yep. Yeah, it's it's a little bit. This, like, here this, you go. I just want to teach you guys really quickly about the Johnson impeachment because mm-hmm. we left that kind of dangling. Um, he dangling was, Johnson. <laughs> Not Lyndon, right? I can't believe <laughs> you didn't say something about uh, Johnson Because we beat it last time. We beat the we hell beat out of it. He did animation. <laughs> he did animation with a penis. Yeah, you guys need to know that we didn't plan that. Uh, no, we, we woke up the next morning. Surprised. We were at the cabin snowboarding, and I had a video from him going, do you think this is okay? <laughs> and all I thought is, Ken needs <laughs> more like, work. You went home? No, no. No, no. <laughs> oh, he did it home. He That's did right. it in his free time. Uh, which means, which means it was not bur- what Ken needs which more Which means the whole penis an animation from a schoolhouse rock was burning in his head on the way home he's like i gotta get this out of yeah, my brain that was, the that song was time i could not get out of my head he could have been dating making a nice dinner Look, for a lady raising a child which he has <laughs> i'm sure his son had something he, to do well, with it. i put him to bed and then i <laughs> you're like and man a johnson going to bed with a to her bed. <laughs> the, the next morning wyatt said were, were you yodeling last night <laughs> 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 like, look at last guy in the middle of the last week's episode there is a uh, lyndon johnson there is a, a schoolhouse rock with lyndon johnson uh, because he had a big hog and he called it he called it jumbo and uh, i'm gonna leave it at that go watch if it. if you didn't watch last week go watch it anyway andrew johnson impeached in the house in 1868 uh the primary charge against him was that he had violated the tenure of office act so we had we had much lower standards yeah. tenure was of like, office. he was in- uh the tenure of office act was a federal law that went into force the year prior um, it was intended to restrict the power of the president to remove certain office holders without approval of the Senate. The law was enacted in 1867 over the veto of President Andrew Johnson. So he was like, no, 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 I don't want you guys to. So he uh, removed uh, Edward Stanton and replaced him with Brevet Major General Lorenzo Thomas as Secretary of War. So, so he just randomly, that's, a di- a that's what a dictator does. You have to have the Senate to approve. You have to approve who gets to be it and who gets taken out. He was one vote short of the necessary two thirds majority, 35 to 19. So we've actually never really impeached somebody. No we've impeached, but, but we no one's ever been convicted. And com- and no one's ever been convicted, convicted of it. Mm-mm. It's too close. I, I, think, I think here's the weird thing. In those, in those days, there was no television. There was no video. Um, we we didn't have recordings. We couldn't know what people did unless we saw it, right? So that would mean whatever whatever act this guy did. I guess he did it in the Senate, and, and uh, he, he 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 changed it in the Senate. Knew that they elected a guy. That, I get it. One vote, crazy. Everybody saw what Trump did. We you, we are not we were, we all watched it on television. We watched yeah. these guys attack. We said we're going to march to the Capitol and we're going to and we're going to Pennsylvania and we're going to do it and we're and we're, we're going to fight. You got to fight. And fight like hell. he sent him there. We have people who've uh, testified that he sent him there. Mm-hmm. We have a conspiracy between Meadows and all these other people that said that he actually that they were doing fake electors. They had schemes around the country or with in the in the swing states. We have people convicted. We have people convicted of it. We have people that have flipped. We have people that have flipped. Cassidy Hudson. We have Bill Barr saying there was no election fraud, and that he keeps saying it. They started 65. doing it again. Five cases we have six yeah 60 plus cases of them uh, of getting thrown out we had we had cyber ninjas which they're, they're, we spent three months i just want to point something out and none of this there's still zero zero evidence mm-hmm. now i hear it's conspiracy okay 
So conspiracy. So that means how many states, 12 states had to be involved. Thousands of people had to be, where'd they have that meeting, by the way? And which mm -hmm. whose car did they sit in and talk about it in which alley? And so all of this was all coordinated against Trump or he's been indicted uh, for, 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 he's been in trouble his whole life. He's bankrupt. He's a, isn't it? It's just really consistent with his fucking personality to be a criminal. Well, it, this is coming from the same stupid people that say that Trump is still the president. So <laughs> they're, they're just. Isn't it weird though? So <laughs> if, I mean, you, just, if you guys idiotic. have some free time, go watch some clips of uh, CPAC. Geez. So the weirdest oh. thing to me, there's a woman in a ball gown that says Trump won on it, singing a, her own song called Trump won. Yeah. And you know it. And and it's not, this is what I told him that terrifies me. It's not a fringe meeting of MAGA Republicans. Yeah. It's CPAC. CPAC. Yeah. Yeah. They it's have not a bunch of people in a basement like Fight Club. Yeah. It's actually, they, they, they rented, rented out a place. Yeah, they rented a ballroom. Yeah. <laughs> They're in suits. CPAC <laughs> is still being run by Matt Schlapp, who was Wait. accused last year of... Um, it was at Herschel Walker's campaign oh, of coming on to, you know, propositioning a young aide. How did I know? Yeah. It's uh, Rachel Maddow went down an exhaustive list last night of all of the hard right wing conservative mm -hmm. anti gay anti trans politicians Who that are, have all uh, been a videotaped to caught yeah, with, yeah. with uh, of, of people of their own sex. Oh, my God. And doing stuff. And, and, and which is fine. I don't care. But don't run the organization that's yeah, anti trans. That's and anti. Yeah. And then we, one guy, one guy a uh, uh, while back took a, he took a helper <laughs> on, to Europe on a full paycheck. <laughs> to help him carry help him his what? luggage. And then they but showed him the pictures luggage. at the airport. The old guy is heaving the luggage and the young boy is just, just standing, standing there. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a very good luggage helper. <laughs> He is the luggage. He may, he may be holding your bags, but oh, not your luggage. Oh, Good night, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. I got right. your packages. <laughs> <laughs> you know we like it. What? <laughs> Special. All right. Go ahead. No, no, no. no. This is, a, this is <laughs> eyebrow. Go, you guys <laughs> both look at each other like, <laughs> like this. Like, what's he going to say light? now? Is this a green light? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Michigan primary was yesterday. But that's what bothers me about Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell's coming out and talking like, uh, you know, I was with the Reagan. I was part of the Reagan Revolution, and I will help this country. And I'm like, he bro, said, you were part of the fucking problem. The thing. We oh. called you a Sith Lord for the last 20 years. What are you talking? about i think that he knows that trump is going to be the the candidate Nominee. and i think he knows that he's effed and it's going to be humiliating for him if he's still majority leader uh, or minority leader right now um then he is going to be a target so he's quietly stepping back here's what he said and i thought it was kind of pathetic um to be fair, Her Elaine river. Chow lost, his wife lost her young sister last month in a mm. car accident. And um, he was saying that that the family's been going through a lot and that had something to do with him deciding to step down. But he said, perhaps it is God's way of reminding you of your own life's journey to reprioritize the impact of the world that we will all inevitably leave behind. Now at eighty two, <clears throat> he invoked God. Uh, by the way, when I when I when I when I, uh, when I say things that are full of shit, I want you to know <laughs> I say it with a very deep authenticity. Oh. And I just want to. Uh oh, he's done it again, sir. Sir. Mr. McConnell. Mr. McConnell. Sir. So I'll be stepping down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just don't. It's just so. It's so it's so much bullshit. It's so disingenuous mm -hmm. to give this speech about mm -hmm. life and and we got to what the world you're going to leave behind, motherfucker. You're the one that killed all these bills. You're the one that yeah. stopped healthcare. You're, Satan, you're the you're one. You're not the. This yeah, isn't God. There, how many people have died because you fucking killed yes. shit that the Democrats tried to put through for healthcare? What are you talking yes. about? That's again when a Sith Lord's like, well, 
well, it's going to be the end of my life, and I'm looking back on it now, knowing what I'm going to leave, and to all the people of, uh, of, uh, of, 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 what was it? Wow, what, well, what was that planet? Alderaan. Alderaan. Planet? Alderaan. Yes, Alderaan, thanks for reminding me. I've blown up so many planets over the years, just to help the guy, just to help the Federation. I'll be here till November. <laughs> 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 exactly yeah. that that's it's like so when someone comes out after being a raging asshole for decades and then has this does this speech as if they were doing good for the country it just pisses me off mitch mcconnell held on to power not because you got kentucky look at look at their economic performance they're still 48th yeah. mitch mcconnell did shit jack Amy off McGrath for, would have been a nice sh- he did shit jack off for kentucky and yet he's he's just because you lasted long enough doesn't mean you're good, mm-hmm. you know. It's usually the opposite. Like these yeah. evil people, yeah. They just then they never fucking die. I was thinking on the way you over. I was forever. thinking if I was if I was in if I got elected in office, mm-hmm. I, I would be that guy because you know me. I don't care. I'd be like I'd be like, listen, I got I got elected. Here's what's going on. And if anybody said we're not doing that, I'd be like, all right, I'm going on the mic tomorrow, yep. and I'm going to name everybody who yep. said this isn't going to happen. Yep. We passed a border bill. We worked on it. You guys, you beat our ass on it. Even even the Republicans are saying it. And so now you guys are saying you're not going to do it. So I'm going to name everybody who was involved in it. I'm going to talk about you guys. And it, and uh, it, well, you know, and it's, if you, if I was unpopular, I'd be like, good. I'm not, I'm in one term then. But I'm going to I'm going to be honest how this Listen. goes. I would also be like this. Hey, by the way, do you know why people want to be in power? Because we have a staff that brings us lunches every day. You know what we get to do? We get to fly anywhere we want, how we want. Oh, by the way, I get an insider trade stock. Oh, I have the best health care in the world. Do you know why I want to continue to be a, a senator? Or people a, a, give me free shit. I get free I shit go. all the time. I uh, people offer me vacations. I, I, are you fucking kidding me? Of course I want to stay here. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, and I represent the people. Mm-hmm. Fuck these Wait, guys. Wait, you forgot to say that first. Oh, sorry. Uh, Hunter Biden is testifying today behind closed doors. Yeah. Jamie Raskin came out and said that he, Hunter, under oath, raised the double standard of Republicans investigating his business dealings, but turning a blind eye to Jared Kushner. Good, yes. Who took $2 billion from Saudi Arabia after leaving the Trump. Uh, there were a lot of hurrumph, 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 hurrumph. <laughs> No, it would be Comer. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not talking about that right now, are we? <laughs> He just freezes. <laughs> um, so we don't know yet. He's still, he's, it's a closed door deposition. Raskin came out and said that. Um, I, thought, I thought that he was demanding that it was supposed to be televised or it was recorded. It was, there was a deal made. Well, I think there was enough stink made at that mm-hmm. to where, I think there was also some other things too. They wanted, they, they wanted it to be minimum Democrats there. There was like all these rules and some of the, there was a negotiation. Then, but. So Dan Goldman came out and said, I thought one of his most powerful lines is mm-hmm. when he made it clear that none of the business dealings he ever had were with any government entity unlike jared kushner who received two billion dollars from the saudi arabian government as soon as he left office when he was the point person on middle east policy goldman said all the democrats noticed i think that there were some republicans nodding their heads when hunter suggested it would be worth investigating uh jared moskowitz also said oh, moskowitz. that when he asked that for the first time, some Republicans in the room audibly said, no, we have a problem with that. Interesting. So, But they won't do anything because no. Trump's yeah. going to be the front runner. So. I- I'll say it again. I'll say it again. There is no reason why this inept, bankrupt, pussy-grabbing psychopath should be the front runner. Mm-hmm. The problem is- I, I'm, I, so you got, you, people, people forget this. Look up his old lawyer. Uh, Cohn was his lawyer. Cohn was his dad's attorney too. I'm telling you, and, and his connection to Epstein, Epstein, one of the, Epstein had cameras in all those rooms. I'm telling you, I don't know, I can't prove this, but the only reason- This Lin- is Titus making something up that he thinks explains everything. Right. Lindsey Graham came out and said, if we elect Donald Trump, it'll be the worst thing we ever did happen to us and we'll deserve it. He said it repeatedly. Yeah. Yeah. He had one golf day, one. He went on the course with, with, with Trump, mm-hmm. came back mm-hmm. and said, Donald Trump's the best thing that's ever happened in this country. Mm-hmm. Now, he said he literally said he would burn our country down. Yes, and, yes, and, and 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 so so the only way Trump, with all his fuck ups, with all his background, with all his loserness, the only way Trump can continue to be president and have these guys back him up. And now, by the way, I have another I have another proof for this, so I can back this up on the other side too. Is to have shit on all these guys. 
That's the only way. So he's just running on blackmail. That's he's, the entire I, 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 thing. I'm guessing. Well, when you when you hear when you see the Epstein, all those computer disks disappeared. Then you on the other side, you've got people that go after him that he never talks about. Now, uh, talk Chris, Chris, let me finish. Really Chris, Chris Christie. Uh, Chris Christie came out in a hardcore body slam. Do you know why? Because Trump's got shit on Christie. Because Christie was East Coast. Christie was Jersey. He don't have him. He ain't got nothing he on him. Did it out in the open. Then you got Nikki he Haley. He shut that bridge down publicly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you got Nikki Haley. Yeah. <laughs> Christie doesn't give a shit. Then you got Nikki Haley who bailed like year one, right? She bailed. She was how do you under year two? She got out of the Trump administration because she saw where it was going. So she did nothing. He has nothing on her. Plus her husband's in the National Guard. So the only people that go after Trump are the people he has nothing on and watch. He never talks about him. He never go, he hasn't gone after Nikki Haley. He hasn't got he still hasn't gone after Christie. I was just gonna back that up by saying so I asked my brother, who's a homeland security investigator, who serves warrants all the time, and he said that there is not a chance in hell that agents would ever leave Epstein's apartment in new york without taking those dvds yeah. and cd-roms and everything so he had they- yeah he said if it wasn't listed on the subpoena which is what we talked about because it's through the poison right. stream, my brother said that there is an exception that they exercise all the time if you believe that not taking that there's a high probability that it would be destroyed. He said they, in child pornography cases, they do it all the time. They take things and they're protected under this exception. He said, or we would just stay there. Mm-hmm. Right. That's what holding they possession they of uh-huh. that property. They didn't go back for two days. He said, I, I can call, he'll call the ADA, sh- the lady that he deals with. She'll instantly get, the a new warrant signed or an amendment or something from a judge judges answer their phones on whatever time for this reason Mm -hmm. and they would take it he said but most likely he would have just taken it because federal agents are covered by that exception unless Uh Mm -hmm. unless there was somebody in new york high up a lot judge somebody who was like no no no, Mm -hmm. leave that there why because it's not on the list you can't take it and you also don't know so so this this Epstein thing is the shadiest shit. It's so it's it's like people keep talking about the Kennedy assassination. Come on, guys. Yeah. Kennedy assassination. Okay. All right. Fine. Bill Hicks bit on it is probably the best bit about it. But this Epstein thing, they left how many hard drives and a stack in the middle of the living room? We'll go. We'll come back in two days. Really, you're going to come back in two days for probably the worst evidence you've ever seen. Um, how and- much Marilyn Monroe like digital footage would we have? <laughs> if it oh was- man. Do you know what that else? would be on? Uh, <clears throat> that would Hunter, be online. Do you know what else though? What else bothers me is that didn't they? Didn't they? They were supposed to reveal the list of who was mm-hmm. on the plane with Epstein, they and that just went, went away. away. Mm-hmm. It's These never. Are, yeah, whatever out. happened to that? Yeah, just, that was supposed to come out. Remember, then, it was a big deal. Yeah, what then, happened? And then uh, I don't so, know, a storm happened, and then we're like, well, there we got to. I'm watching live updates river. of the Hunter Biden deposition yep. um several people have come out and said that they understand why he wanted to do it publicly because he's his it would have looked really bad for republicans and good for him they said he's very straightforward honest direct mm-hmm. critical of the gop raised by his dad points out bullshit and double standards uh james comer <laughs> uh. said there you go <laughs> the impeachment inquiry will continue after this deposition, though he did say to this afternoon that he's ready to begin closing the probe. There doesn't appear to be enough support in the GOP to support articles of impeachment against Biden, where Republicans would need near unanimous support. Wow. These motherfuckers uh, did this for how many ben years? Matt Gates says, oh, His he's not viewing presidency. this. He said in an interview, I'm not viewing this uh, through the lens of next steps towards an impeachment vote. Uh, He said, we're just asking questions about corrupt business practices. I'm just trying to get facts. That's what he said. So now he's there. Oh, you're fucking like, backpedaling. Now you're trying to you know, reframe it. Get the fuck actually, out of here. I heard it squeaking and it's backpedaling. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you gotta, you gotta oil that. If you, yeah. Hunter <laughs> Biden, like, I don't know what happened. On his way out, went up to Nancy Mace, shook her hand and said, I'm not evil. And because Nancy Mace called, called him, him out. So yeah, and has repeatedly gone on the news and said stuff about him. But he walked right up to her to shake her hand at the end, apparently. Evil, by the way, pure evil can't deal with integrity. You you walk up and go, hey, bitch, mm-hmm. I'm not evil. What we saw, I think, was I a like rather and crack. embarrassing spectacle <laughs> where the Republicans continue to belabor 
completely trivial points they are obsessively focused on. Except at yet and yet they won't. They won't pass health care. Well, they then Swalwell pass. came and did an interview and oh. said, you know, we're right at another looming government shutdown. 48 hours and from we've shutting. And we spent all day in this room yep. with Hunter Biden over his laptop. and Who is not in the government. <sighs> Hunter Biden is not part of the government. I'm telling you, when I said that to my sister that day, well, what do you think about Hunter Biden? I said, I thank God that he's not in the government. Yep. He's not in the White House. We don't have to worry about him. And it was like, uh, 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 because mm -hmm. they don't think about that. Yeah. They think it's the same. Yeah, they think it's, it's equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always this false equivalency that they're trying to right. make Biden well, evil. That's, but that, so you know what's getting, what's letting the right off the hook right now? This sentence, both sides. They yeah, keep yeah, saying yeah. it. That's both always sides. trying to do that. Yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. One side, a yes. million people died because they fucked up COVID. Mm -hmm. One side actually ran up $7 trillion in debt by giving rich people who already had money yeah. tax breaks. Even what? on the left. Don't what? point. This, One they're not even the same golf. fucking planet. One side golfed 300 days while they were president. One side actually stopped the Iran nuclear deal. And the problem is now we don't know if Iran has nukes or not. One side kissed Russia's ass and licked Putin's taint. The other side uh, forgave student debt, CHIPS Act, infrastructure. Uh, um, I can keep going, but but it, it's gone on forever. And, and oh, and by the way, gave us all money during the pandemic to get us back on our feet. Then it fixed the supply chain. Mm -hmm. Stores were empty. Uh, it's not both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one side fucked up bad yeah. for four years. The other side fixed it. Yeah. Same with, by the way, same with W. Obama came in. We had, a, we had the housing crisis. Everything collapsed. Obama came in. He did QE one, two, and three. Uh, we saved GM and Chrysler. It's like every time and people always go, Titus, you lived hard. You've been you've been sold a bill of goods. You drank the Kool Aid. No, I no, drank no. the Kool Aid. The last what is it? The last fifty years at least we can point to go, Eisenhower, Eisenhower was the last Republican that did a great job. Where a, where a Democrat number wise didn't have to come in and fix it, improve things, and you can look at every every metric, mm -hmm. everything improved yep. after that. Uh, the Supreme Court today is hearing the uh, bump stock and machine gun case. Which, by the way, I, I, I thought that was actually Trump outlawed him while he was in office. Which bump is stock can uh, it's a device that can convert a semi-automatic rifle into a weapon that could fire far more rapidly. It's how the guy in um, at the MGM shot all those people. It, it basically, it just it kick it keeps kicking back and it keeps firing the trigger, pulling the trigger. Yeah, my brother just got a conviction on a guy. For uh, Glock switches, that's a big same thing. It's the same type, type of thing. Propaganda. Yeah. But on a handgun. Yep. Right. Propaganda. Um, so they haven't put out their decision yet, but uh, Kavanaugh said he was worried that prohibiting bump stocks would ensnare Americans who were not aware of the new law. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> By the way, they'd probably find out when they tried to buy one. Your lack when they when they couldn't buy one. Your lack of knowledge. Uh, 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 your lack of knowledge that something's illegal does not stop the crime that you just committed. Correct. That's the, bullshit. That's a Supreme Court justice mm -hmm. who said that. He's the dumbest. He's a he's well. What is wrong with him? And the most people that are hearing I like that are, beer. I just want to say I like beer. I like beer. He <laughs> cried that actually. <laughs> <laughs> most people that hear that are thinking oh, i don't play drums so i don't need to that doesn't bother me no it doesn't affect me at all ensnare <laughs> snare no no um <laughs> michigan primary was yesterday and trump won but nikki haley did take almost 30 percent of the vote yeah um, which, which her point, I think her point was well taken. She's like, listen, this guy is a president. If y'all loved him so much, how come, like, cause Biden's getting 80 and 90% of his vote. And I have to say this, Rashida Tlaib, yes, explain can that. we, can we, okay. So, so we have to talk about this a little bit cause, and, and I, 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 I see everybody's point about it. Hamas is a terrorist organization that attacked Israel. Get it. Since then, however, Israel has devastated Gaza. To the point where at one point, I thought about this yesterday. I thought about, and, I, and, and listen, I understand it. Israel's been fucked with since the day they were, became, the day after they became Israel, they were attacked by five Arab nations. This has happened consistently and constantly since 1948. And before that, oh, by the way, the, uh, Hitler tried to genocide everybody. So, that's, it's always funny to me when someone starts to go, Israel's committing a genocide. I'm like, I think these people know what a genocide yeah. is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, however... 
Israel keeps bombing. There's been some reports where some of the soldiers have done some things that aren't uh, uh, aren't exactly Geneva Convention level. And I'm being I'm very soft peddling this because it's Israel and Gaza, and I'm sure no one's going to be offended by anything I say. Um, there's a time when you have to stop and go, uh, Israel. I think they get it. I think they get it. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we can send in uh, the special forces and get let's get let's get Hamas. Let's go to the ends of the earth. Let's chase Hamas till every single member of Hamas is dead. I'm fine with that. However. The people that are living in Gaza, at one point, you have to be better than Hamas. At one point, you have to go, all right, we've made our point. Uh, there's no buildings left. Yeah. We need to, now we need to negotiate. But however, John Stewart put this up on Monday and it was, he said he was talking about Biden not doing anything, not getting hard on Israel and blah, blah, blah. And then he put up the Hamas leader who goes, Israel needs to be wiped from the face of the earth. Yeah. And then Stewart's like, ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you've got one side, so Hamas, after their leaders were being killed, everything. I, I, at one point, we're supposed to be better, and I know I, 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 I do. You know, I, I, I have this weird thing about it. I, I think Israel's made its point, don't you? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's made. I, th yeah. I think they're like yeah. okay, on the second again. day. Yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. yeah, but I mean, those I mean, there are children dying of hunger and dehydration. Right. Yeah. It's time to. It's yeah. It's time predicted to. Predicted that it, famine is going. And to. here's what you could do. And here's what I would do now. As if I was Israel, but Netanyahu's not this guy. You go. Okay. Now we're sending in humanitarian aid. Right now we're going to save the people. See what that what that does. It's 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 a bit of a ploy. But you go in and you go. Here's water. Here's food. We got you guys covered. But you put the Israelis in charge of it. So that, so they're making sure the trucks coming across aren't full of bombs or whatever. Well, they said. I think Biden recently said that uh, they're working on a on a ceasefire. And there's some solutions. To, Hamas won't come to the table. I, I, I heard, when I was driving in today, they said Hamas won't come to the table. Well, at least they, maybe they're going to have some plans that can control them and stop bombing. Stop. I guess that's what the ceasefire. It means cease bombing. Right. And so um, let's, But let's talk about why Democrats are like herding cats. So Rashida Tlaib, who's the guy who said, I hope that uh, called Trump. Uh, Impeach the motherfucker. Impeach the motherfucker. Said that. Now, running. by the way, uh, uh, listen. <gasps> What? Richard Lewis died. Oh, oh no. shit. He, this just came out. Oh, man. He was just on, um, we just watched him on Curb Your Enthusiasm this weekend. And you he said just retired he like a year sick. ago. Oh, Elaine's going to be very upset. Oh, shit. So, um, so guys, um, so heart attack. Oh, Jeff Abraham is still his publicist. Jeff Abraham confirmed today that. Uh, he died of a heart attack at home. Guys, if you don't know who Richard Lewis is, um, he's on Kirby and Design Forever. He was any anytime someone does uh, a airplane from hell or a mother in law from hell joke, it's because Richard Lewis did it first. Richard Lewis, uh, brilliant genius, like the smartest. Holy shit! Some of the smartest jokes. He used to walk on stage with. He would have instead of a yellow pad that he flipped, he would tape. 50 yellow pa mm -hmm. pages together and just flip wow. through his jokes on the piano at the improv. Brilliant comedian. Him and I, uh, I just messaged each other back and forth. Uh, and I just told him what a genius he was. And, and we, we talked a little bit, never in person. I mean, except I, on, I met him a couple times on the road. Um, wow. I, you know, what is it when someone funny dies? Is there something? And he's not one of these, he's not, he, God, there was no, there was no bad news no. about him. His wife was with him. Oh. That's crazy. Sorry. I just, a banner Lewis. just came across. Brilliant comedian. should reach out to Elaine. Um, wow. Yeah. Well, How old was he? 76. Did comedy up till like 70, He 71. got diagnosed with Parkinson's last year or at some point, but last year he said he was going to step down from doing comedy see, because you know what of I, that. What, what, see, see what I say when I say, I, when I, I did the math, I stopped drinking. I just stopped drinking January first, not for any reason, just because I, I wanted to take a year off. And I started doing the math. How old I am? And I was like, "Oh, I've got fifteen to twenty-five years left, maybe." That's because you don't have the politician health care. I mean, well, we I know if we could get some healthcare. fucking health care, I would be. I would be in my deep nineties. <laughs> if Richard Lewis, who's a comedian who we don't all unionize, if he had decent health care, we'd yes. be fine. Yeah, we could beat Chuck Grassley. Who's going to be? Wow, I'm sad. That's sad. That's a that's, that's a big one. Sad. That's a big one.
That is a big one. That, and one of the good ones. That was like, ones. Yeah, no no scandals, no no yeah. grooming 15-year-olds mm-hmm. for Richard Lewis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no horrible uh, horrible uh, like Influence substance abuse problem. A, ge- a generation oh of comedians. Oh, yeah. yeah for he had sure. his own style. Yeah. It was that whole era um in New York. Well, but also, the time of Boozler and- but also, so many new comics now, and I've had brought this up, and someone got pissed at me about it, and and I didn't care about it. It was like <laughs> there's a whole bunch of comics right now that have learned comedy from watching TikTok and yes. and, and YouTube, and yes. they're, you're you're imitating what comedy is. Yeah. Then there's some other guys that I heard who aren't performing. You mean they're learning and. They're copying le- that. They're copying yeah. it. They're not, but they're not. They're they're doing racist jokes. They're doing dick jokes that we did in eighty yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. They're not pushing the art. It, at that's all. it's like they're they're inspired. It's so diluted. Where's that, Pat? That, yeah. What they were insp- What they're being inspired right. by that it becomes like oh now you're reinventing dumb shit. Right. Yeah. That like not everyone's even reinventing already done it's the same shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. But th- but then again, there's a new generation watching it, so mm-hmm. they're like, oh, this is brilliant. Yeah. Um, I was listening to Paul F. Tompkins, but but so like Patton, Patton uh, uh, Oswald, he actually pushed the form. Maria pushed the form. Uh, Paul F. Tompkins, people listen to yeah. Paul F. Tompkins. Holy shit, one of the funniest he human is. beings. And and there's some, there's such a joy in the way he does mm-hmm. comedy. And right now there's a bunch of people that are getting big because of YouTube or whatever mm-hmm. that a way too early, fucking way too early for them. And they're just kind of they're kind of imitating what they've seen as opposed to being good. Same comics. with music. We were talking about mm-hmm. this because of someone in our family, but that these kids they so they grew up on. We didn't have like um, AGT. And, you had to go figure it out. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. American Idol, yeah. and so everybody can sing in yeah. this generation. Everybody, and they're mimicking, and they all sound a lot alike, mm-hmm. and they stay at home and record to the computer or to the camera because they all have a studio at home, and they yep. don't live perform. Yeah, a, a studio now could consist of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah, yeah. MacBook Pro. Yep. Who are you talking to? They don't (laughs) live. They don't perform live. Mm. They've never performed live. They don't know what they're doing, and then they drop an album or something. And it's like we've seen a lot with comedians. You and Billy Gardell will go on about this, but starting to fill up the calendars at comedy clubs, these TikTok acts, and the management or the owners are always like, "Oh God," like this about them, and they come one time, sell out like mad. And then that's it. Yeah, it's hollow. There's because like they're, they yeah. have, they're leapfrogging the that whole thing. Like before tech, before the yeah, internet, yeah. you were forced to put the time in and develop mm-hmm. your <laughs> talent. Mm-hmm. God, it's same with music. Same with c- comedians. Yeah. Exact these, these, same thing. These guys have never driven to Central California. Yeah. and done the shittiest oh, tell them one about nighter. Your phone bills. Oh my God! So, so guys, before uh, uh, um, unlimited minutes, <laughs> we were the, all the wires were connected. <laughs> no I, cellular i would have seven so this is 1984 85 because i was always been a hustler plus i i'd been kicked out of my dad's house i'd moved out actually because we got in fist fights 750 fifty dollar phone bills in 1984 Ooh. five Ooh. why and because i was calling every club in the country telling them I'll, I'll i'll show up don't pay me if i suck if i suck don't pay me no you were calling and saying let me headline well, first and I was saying, just give me a gig. And then after I go there, I go, let me a headline when I was in featuring, let me a headline. And this, I did this a lot. I would go like, they go, no, you're going to feature one more time. I go, I'll tell you what, yeah. I'll headline. If you, if I don't kill, if I don't kill, and you, then you don't have to pay me. And like four or five clubs took me up on it and I got paid every time. He'd make them the offer. You don't have to pay me. So, mm-hmm. he, but he would have all this money in phone bills. Oh my God. And so many <laughs> phone bills. And I had so many parking tickets and, but you're right. I had to get in a car and drive. And go do stuff like yeah. you know because and, it, it, in that work in that that struggle is where so a lot a lot of the a lot of the material yes, comes from yes, a lot yes, of the, yes. the, the 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 thick skin comes from it the you have like a gravitas you when you get there in any moment you yeah. know because you've been through it yeah unfortunately you have like a um I don't know like there's a level of a skill set that you reach just by putting that work in. Yeah. And it and, and it's conveyed you, you to develop the, you and find your voice. Yes, yeah. I never, ever, ever well, you make decisions intended on to do like pro women yeah. comedy. Yeah. Which obviously now this special has nothing to do with because I've grown and my life has happened yeah. in between. But I remember being in Florida and I was pissed. Do you remember that? And I was doing the same material I'd written oh. and what I just wasn't great it mm-hmm. wasn't i mean but i, I was, was chicago 
That's, no, that was that was when you when broke. That's when you broke in mom, right, right, right. Um, but it typically begins with being pissed because either you're not performing it the way you should anymore because it's or you as hate he what says you're brewing a tumor on your soul. It's not who you are. It's not <laughs> you what know, you want to say. Yeah. Yeah. And he said in Florida, it was with the old Fort Lauderdale Club. You said just go out there and tank it, but you have to go say what you want to say. And I was mm -hmm. like, I don't know what I want to say. Mm -hmm. And you were like, you cannot go out and do that material go out and tank it. And this was like Friday second show, which is such a great time to, and I went out and did that pro women stuff, baby maker, ball breaker, cock tease, gold yeah. digger, that whole run rant. And they went nuts. They went nuts. And then I had to go back to my mom and my dad. Same and, exact story that happened to me with, with them. But it all came from dying horribly mm -hmm. on stage. Mm -hmm. And then, but it's so funny, man. As a performer, you get to this place where you start and you're like, everything goes into just getting on the stage and doing something that's watchable. Yeah. yeah. And then you yes. do that for a minute and then you're like, oh, fuck, I hate this. Like, yeah. I remember, yes. I remember, like, in my brain, I could see a picture of the words, like a ticker tape. Mm -hmm. The bitch yes. showing up to my head. Mm -hmm. like, I don't want to say this. I don't want to say this. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Horrible <laughs> material. And then we go. I still do that with a joke that I know needs to be rewritten, don't yeah. you? And yeah. you're like, oh, I'm such a hack. I know I can write that book. I, I fixed one, actually. I fixed the, the uh, my mom, uh, ma manic depressive schizophrenic 185 IQ. Yeah. I fixed it. it. That joke was bugging me. Yeah. Because I knew I was getting by on, on uh, energy mm -hmm. and attitude instead of jokes. Yes. Yeah. Also, with this, the, the social media generation of performers, the feedback you can you can oh. choose what feedback oh. you want to want yes. to take in yes because if you're not going out and actually hitting it live yeah and really judging your performance mm -hmm. and for, and forming your your show based on a live performance yeah. you have to take in that real feedback because online you can just go uh, scroll 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 right, scroll right, scroll right. oh i like that I like that oh and pick and choose you can really say. heinous things get edited out because they have yeah. cuss words in them or stuff yeah. like that uh yeah it's like um, being a model, but never appearing live anywhere to catwalk. Oh or something. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like looking at people's social media. What you can do with music in your studio you have, or your room uh -huh. is not what it's going to sound yes. like live. Yes. Bruce Springsteen sounds exactly the same yeah. live. So uh, my son has started doing stand-up comedy, and I am not. I'm helping him a little bit, but I'm not helping him write. I'm not writing any jokes for him. And he has been on his own. He, he drove to in Pasadena and did a nooner, a story hour where he just jumped on stage and did his, like he's doing awesome, stuff. Man. And I, and I, That's and awesome. I started to, cause I wasn't taking him seriously mm -hmm. and, uh, and you well, aren't he's, either. He's, he's done it seven he's or eight, eight, he's eight on, times he's, now. Yeah. So it's not that we're not taking him seriously. It's, it's that eight he's, times. Yeah. he is open, open, but mic. he's going into like 4 PM open mics full of comedians yeah. doing his material. He's doing like, this is what you have to do. Yeah. That's you know, awesome. you can't just have a comedian and not go perform live. Yeah. You can't say I'm a musician and not go perform live. Because mm -hmm. what will happen is who you think you are in the studio with a producer and a board and, and yep. you got people uh, overdubbing. It's and like you got Photoshop. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Filter. Yeah. Right. Music, it, it's just a filter. That's go what out I was in the trying world. to say. Go out in the world, model, get on a stage and do that shit. Because that's like you said, the he, 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 but this, I don't want to. I'm scared. People might be might well, hate me. Well, this yeah, what, this yeah. is what he said. So he came out. He, 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 he every time he does a new show, we'll be on the road, and he's like, I get a text. Well, I bombed all caps, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I call him, and I'm like, okay, what what happened? And he goes, oh, it was all comedians and this and that and that and that. And then he called me two days later. And he goes, I listened to, I listened to it. And he goes, I got laughs on my new jokes, and I was like, okay, with a room full of comedians. Him? I, t I made him. I said, "You yeah. got it. You have to." I go, "Why?" Because you're not gonna imagine. Mm -hmm. I go, and I go, "I understand." Because I can't. I can't listen to myself. I yeah, hate it. it. I'm better now, but I watch it as the producer now. I watch it as yeah, huh. we got to edit that out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and he. So, so what? And also, what you think on stage is not is not is most of the time not real. If you can hear what you did. Sometimes you know you bomb. Sometimes you just fucking no, you just tanked it, and it's the worst feeling. But he said to me the other day we we're doing martial arts, and he said. I don't care anymore about bombing. I realize it's part of it. Because he's a seven, eight shows in. Yeah. And I think he's got three decent shows that he was happy with or two. 
and the rest of him, he's like, ah, yeah. And so he's, he's getting, he's, he said, he, I'm feeling, I don't care anymore. That's good. That's part of the, it's yeah. part of the developing right. into yeah. the, exactly. I mean, it's really, this is like for any job. Really. You also have to be silly. You have to be like a stand up comedian. If you hold back at all, yeah. the audience knows you don't yeah. think you're funny. Yeah. So I get it is. That's the thing. They always knew. Yeah. And you're always. like, no, I'm covering it up. <laughs> and they're like, no, I could see your body language and yeah. your voice and your yeah. eyes and your, mm. yeah. Yeah. The fear is pouring <laughs> off you. Yeah. We can all smell it. We're not feral <laughs> animals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of feral animals, he's not feral, but we, I wanted to mention this last week, but when we were in uh, Niagara, we finally got to meet your namesake, Titus. Oh. Dude, I have to show you. I have videos she and pictures. Doodle, right? Sheep a doodle? He's a burn a doodle. Burn a doodle. I don't even know that what? is. Bernie sheep. Burn. Holy Bernie's shit. <laughs> I doodle? give up. It's a burn a doodle. Let me just say that. He's named after you. Mm -hmm. He is the cutest. Massive dog. I know that his mom at one point was looking at me like, you're going to steal my yep. dog. And we were going to take like, it. Yep. Because yeah. sure our little dogs could ride on the top of this dog. <laughs> <laughs> this dog is now going to be a motorhome for he our little dog. so cute. And it's called a doodle? He's so a can... Bernese mountain dog mixed oh. with a poodle. So you've seen like golden doodles, sheep doodles. There's all these oodles now. Mm -hmm. So Titus is Bernese mountain dog mixed with very smart. I sent my niece the picture of him and she goes, why does he have human eyes? Yeah. And he does. So I have to give you a, a picture to put in here of him with his namesake. Yeah. He has his own social media account too. We had fun on that tour. That casino. What I'm saying good. is bring your dogs. I want to see them. Yeah, she will. Yeah, then yeah. Then and then I'll, I might try to steal. Them. And then the merch goes stops because she's like, <laughs> yeah, like totally. Babe, can you get the money? We got to like sign <laughs> no. a poster. We got to do this. <laughs> no. yeah, I'm playing with the dog. He's Sorry. high fiving me. He was high fiving. We'll just start Come selling on. dog dog shirts, things <laughs> like that. <laughs> Team Little Illuminati. service dogs. Yeah. Team Illuminati. Yeah, yep. for the dogs. <laughs> That's another thing too. Uh, Team Illuminati. So guys, go to the if you go to the we're in the middle of building a new website right now. There's going to be Team Illum Illuminati shirts. Uh, this conspiracy thing about the Illuminati's running the world. And so, all right. Uh, so let's break mm -hmm. that down. Mm -hmm. So if the Illuminati's running the world since Biden took over, that means that the Illuminati wants us to have cheap drugs. The Illumini, Illuminati wants us to have more jobs. Mm -hmm. The Illuminati wants our wages to go up. Mm -hmm. The Illuminati also lowered, we have the lowest inflation worldwide. The Illuminati did mm -hmm. it. The gas prices are coming down. We've produced more oil this year mm -hmm. than any country. We're producing more oil than Saudi Arabia right now. Yeah. Uh, so the Illuminati uh, is kicking ass. The Illuminati, who's the eye of the Illuminati is yeah. on the dollar, yeah. wants to forgive your student loan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm, I'm team Illuminati. <laughs> yeah. I got to be honest. I'm totally team Illuminati. Uh, and by the way, uh, and uh, again, uh, the COVID vaccine, if they microchipped you, why? Yeah. I always, always, you know, it's funny. You want to, you want to confuse the shit out of these conspiracy theories. Go, okay, what's the payoff? Mm -hmm. They can control you. Wh uh, wh uh, you're already paying taxes. Mm -hmm. They want to kill us. But you're already paying taxes. Why would they want to kill you? They need that money to pay for the lunches that they're having in Congress. Yeah. What are you talking about? And, and, and like nobody, no one goes goes beyond mm -hmm. why Biden is really, Trump's really the president. Biden's just, it, it's, oh, someone said it was Jim Carrey wearing a mask. But Remember again, that? if Trump is president, as they all said at CPAC, he won. We all know he won. He's our rightful you president. Then he can't run again. Yeah, this is the this second, is second, second term. term. The second term. So which is a good point. This is Trump's second term. If he's you already president, he can't run it's again. It's over. You can't. Uh, speaking <laughs> wow. of Trump, you just, you just, uh, <laughs> appellate court judge just ruled. So Trump's lawyers appealed the $454 million suit. They are asking to not have to pay that. Un no. No. To not have to pay that until the case is decided by the appellate court. So he's appealing the ruling, but we don't want to pay that much money until they have to come up with the because then yes, because so then they have to come up he'll with some appeal sort of to it'll end up at the Supreme Court. So all he's doing is delay, 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 delay. So a new judge, an associate justice, Anil Singh, today ruled. No, he has to come up with the entire $454 million verdict in the civil fraud trial. Uh, he has about account. 24 more days to do that. And that's mm -hmm. not including the E. Jean Carroll, 80, whatever that was, 90, whatever. And the interest um, is 118000 per day. 111, yeah. Oh, 111. Uh, Sorry. The judge did lift the ban <laughs> oh, that's on better. Trump's I can do that. ability. I can handle that. 
I just don't want to say, and people be like, you guys don't say this. Right? Gotta sell how many gold uh, shoes do we gotta sell? <laughs> lifted a, the, tr the justice did, however, lift a ban on Trump's ability to obtain loans from a New York bank, which could allow him to use the equity he has in his properties to get the full bond amount. Um, he was asking, obviously, Who's to not have to pay guy? it until he's done appealing it. I remember when my credit rating, Some because of my like divorce, him. was a little bit off. It's great now, uh, uh, but I remember trying to get a car loan in yeah. the middle of the divorce with her messing oh, up my yeah. credit rating. Oh, yeah. How the hell, after so many bankruptcies and being on such an Russia. obvious <laughs> loser, I mean, I'm sure that's mm -hmm. true, but even Putin, I, I, here's what I think. Putin, you know, they have this phrase in Russia called a useful idiot. Trump is a useful idiot. And you could see how Trump, because like, you gotta remember, people forget this. Guys, you need to know this. Donald Trump has been doing business with Russia since 1987. He did a yeah. he did a Miss Universe pageant in Russia. The dude had a deal with Putin to build Trump Tower in Russia, and Putin got the penthouse, a fifty million dollar penthouse. This is this this is not a surprise. Trump's been dealing with Russia since 1987. Look it up. Don't trust me, libtard moron. Look it up. So, there's a there's a great um I, I held off on watching it for years but uh, maybe you guys have seen it. it's called the Comer rule I think it was on like Apple TV right. or something like that and it really does a good job at portraying Trump and all that the 2016 stuff and all the Russia stuff that was going on and how he ran things behind the scenes with uh, James Comer and the whole you know all that stuff oh with with, with it's Italy. it's a good it's a really good show like they did a whole a series about it. Uh, James Comey, you mean? Co Comey, Comey rules. So Com I, not Comer. Co sorry, oh, yeah. Comey. Did they talk Comer about again? why? Did they talk about why Comey did that? Because they keep saying that the DOJ has been weaponized. But if you remember correctly, they'd already had the investigation was over with Hillary. The email thing, there was nothing. Yes. There was yeah. nothing that was dangerously it was really top arbitrary. Secret. It was over. Then three days before the election, uh, Comey comes out and goes, "We're still investigating her." It's the same thing that just happened with this uh, special counsel right. that put out that mm -hmm. report in an election year saying that Biden was old, feeble, didn't recall yeah, yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. didn't. I mean, again, yeah. we've had that happen again. So about the Trump thing in the interim. So parties have to file briefs by March 18th to appeal. Uh, the panel will then evaluate and return a decision on the docket by the end of March. So they aren't even going to hear additional oral arguments. You can just submit in your brief why you think it should be appealed and we'll let you know. Um, in the interim, Don Jr. and Eric can continue to run the family company, but each have to post a little over four million dollars or secure a bond because they got and, and, and Weiselberg also got a million Trump's attorneys offered. I like that. They just it make shit up. We'll give you a hundred million <laughs> bond. It was just about a fourth of what he owes to go towards the judgment, but said they cannot access the capital market to raise money because of that ban on loans. Um, they said that uh, they don't, he does not have the cash. The, the AG's oh, office. I'm sorry. He, he, he testified. That he was cash rich. He testified. I know, but that's why I was telling you this. Uh, AG's office put in her filing, Trump is not barred from obtaining a bond from an insurer, but Trump's lawyer said bonds require cash, and that's the issue. So he doesn't. So he, oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me yes. that Donald Trump yes. lied under I know, oath? I know, I know. Come on, that's no way. No way. No. Listen, my gold shoes tell me right now <laughs> that that man is pure of heart <laughs> and loaded with integrity. <laughs> what I don't get now is that we watched the Michigan yesterday and he still got 60% of the vote of the Republican vote. That's what I was going to say earlier. Like, Remember after January 6th, how he was persona non grata? Mm -hmm. People were just like, well, Talking. there was some weird stuff in the election, but it, Biden's the president, you know, whatever. And now CPAC, it is full on crazy, angry, yeah, yeah, yeah. And loud. Yeah. Clown he car. Won. Yep. Yeah. And the swing is so insane to yep. me. There was a nice window where Trump was kind of out of our lives, yep. right? It was when he started doing the he NFTs. It yep. was right then. But also remember this. If you remember, um, and I thought Merrick Garland was going to be a good choice. I think Merrick Garland, he's droopy dog. He's like, mm -hmm. They took him a year and a half to even file charges against Trump. 
for 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 an obvious insurrection that we yes. watched on yeah. television. I watched it. Right. I was walking around the house like I, I, with metal to my veins, going, "Babe, what's going on? What's going on? Look, what's, look at the TV. What's going on? Yeah, why wasn't something filed like a that year and week? a half? I don't understand. Exactly. How long does that take? Uh, well. Uh, uh, well, we had to make sure that all our ducks were in a row before we filed. I'm Merrick Garland. And he I, would have been a good Supreme Court justice, though. He would have it's been. It's more his speed. Yeah, yeah very, yeah. very deliberate. The natural order was disturbed by Mitch McConnell doing that because he- Yeah, that again, Mitch McConnell, go, get leave now, bro. I, I, I'll tell you this, Mitch McConnell's a power-hungry son of a bitch, so that he's going to turn it over. He's going to turn over someone that, and he's still going to be in Congress for four years, in the Senate for four years? Four, yeah. Okay. So he's just going to be like he's still going to be majority leader. Trust me, he's still being. Oh, he's going to run. He's shit, still going to yeah. be running shit. It's mob boss. Uh, Josh Hawley is up. So Ugh. we uh, ask Kansas, please. Kansas, get rid of Josh Hawley. Listen, Ted Cruz is having problems in Texas right now. Texas, uh, please. Uh, who else? Who else? There's someone else that's up. That's up. Oh, Bobert. Bobert. I think Bobert's in trouble. Oh, I do too. But that's house, yeah. But yeah, she's um she's she, gotten very quiet, you may notice. If she doesn't win this time, I think she doesn't get her like so, oh, 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 She needs one more time, right? By the way, you know what else they get? Isn't it salary for life and health care oh, yeah. for life? That's another thing. They, they, they get a vote. retirement. Listen, give me yeah. a job what where a I get to vote racket. my own benefits. Yeah, totally. <laughs> God, <I'm fucking laughs> Can I please have that job? Yeah. She needs one more term to get those benefits, I believe. She and Marjorie Taylor Greene both. So she switched districts because Adam Frisch was mm-hmm. doing Handing so her well. Ass. Yeah. And now she's last out of the eight people that were running. She's polling last. So come on, Colorado. Guys, I want to tell you guys, uh, I'm going to be at uh, – Ray's actually going to uh, uh, help with uh, someone a having a baby. A birth. I'm yeah. not – you're gonna be a doula. <laughs> yeah, you're not know, assisting. No, she's gonna be there to uh, to for for. Uh, we'll we'll call it emotional support. Yeah. Um, I am going to uh, Cap City mm-hmm. Comedy Club in Texas, guys. This is one of the nicest clubs. Uh, Carrying monsters. We are going to be filming it on April thirteenth. Do me a favor. Go to ChristopherTitus.com if you want to come to the show. Uh, yep. The show is going to be here Just in North go Hollywood. To the tour page. You can click the through reason, the ticket link. The reason it's going to be in North Hollywood is because the opening story is a story about me and my mom yep. going to bars here in North Hollywood, and yep. so we're filming it. And we we we're, we've already building sets and yep. everything like that. So uh, you guys wanted to go to the show. Second show is going to be have an after party. Tickets are a little more. Expensive expensive but it'll be fun um go to cap city comedy club this weekend uh show we're doing thursday two shows friday two shows saturday please go to the show if you can't make it out to the filming because this is the best this show's ever been this show's a motherfucker yep, did you is. watch it at the casino yes even at a casino it did well that was yeah. weird like people were coming up to you there was that with that black couple you said that older black couple that the lady just came out and she goes people told us to come see him we and had I, no idea who he is who he was it's our birthdays and our friends told us we should come see him that he was like definitely our speed and they were like blown away yeah she was like i'm gonna go find his other specials now <laughs> That's awesome um so uh, come to the show this weekend, uh, and what else going on? Oh, guys, uh, the new website. What are we looking at time-wise on the new website, you think? Uh, we're, we're close. It's oh, very, really? It's very close. Yeah, are you I think messing we're with just, it? We're, you just, we're just missing one page. Really? But other than that, I think we're, All right, we're new close. Website. And go yeah. check out Knock'em Dead, Knock'em Dead podcast on YouTube, or in, you can listen to it anywhere. Next episode is um, going to be with Billy Gardell. Yes, he's going to come do that one. And my brother was the last one talking about first responders and what they deal with, and that one was like, Probably it's such, you know, favorite. it's weird. Like this podcast ended up, this co- podcast is about the world. I love this, this, this Knock em Dead doing the Knock em Dead podcast because we're all going to go through losing someone close to us or dealing with death and that you, that you had this idea. I've, I feel better about it. You want to feel better about losing somebody? You're not going to be less sad, but you're going to feel better about what's going on. We've had some killer guests on. This show we have no guests on. That show we have guests on all the time. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, so go awesome. check it out. Um, all right, guys. Do me a favor. Go to ChristopherTice.com if you want anything. Uh, shirts, this and that. There's going to be a team Ill- Illuminati shirts available uh, ASAP. And thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. For myself, the lovely bombshell Ray. Oh, wait. Hold on. Before I go, it's time for Highlanders Fun Facts. Highlanders Fun Facts. It's Highlanders Fun Facts. Yeah. That was the best I've ever done, I think. That was good. Gold. (laughs) Things that are gold.
Okay. Okay. This is, this is like a, high what, tops. What is that pyramid game? High tops. Yeah. <laughs> um, turns, out, shoes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> turns out there's my heart. Quite a bit. <laughs> there's quite a bit of gold on or in our planet. Ninety nine percent of the precious metal can be found in the Earth's core. How much is there? Enough to coat the entire surface of the Earth in go- uh, one and a half feet of gold. You know, I keep I keep reading about. They say all the gold that's that is has been found. We don't have that much, but how far do we have to go down to get it to the to the core of the Earth? Oh, really? So, so. it's going to be hot. I thought yeah, you it's were going to say found in baby boomers' teeth because there's a <laughs> lot of gold. My sister has really? gold in her teeth, even. Yeah, you know that. That's how I they thought did it was too billings. soft. Yeah, why well, would they, they do- changed. They went. They. I got a hard. I got. It a, I have a Kevlar based ceramic in my teeth. My dad now. has gold in fillings in his teeth. Yeah, if we just. I yeah. still have my a medieval mercury lead <laughs> in my teeth. <laughs> Mine is like some kind your, of- Your kidney's black. <laughs> Why? Because of my teeth and my dentist. My one cavity that I had. Um, wow, that's a lot of- Because I keep- I just read some that we, they, we found all the gold there is. There's some- there's, you know, It's like diamonds. It's like they're not rare. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They've just been ca- held by yeah, the De Beers, De Beers right, company. Right, right. That, when I read about that, it's crazy. You guys know Assholes. that, by the way? Uh, uh, diamonds uh, are, are held all together and diamonds. like by one company? Yeah, just in a warehouse. They have them all. They're just like <laughs> spitting them out. Yeah. Ba-dink. No, it's very, it's very- can't, No more. No more. Don't look inside. Shut up. Shut the door. Uh, April 13th, filming the new special, Come Fly Here, Drive Here, Come Hang Out With Us, two shows, second show with an after party with all of us. We will all be celebrating. Uh, We're going to lead into that uh, by on April 11th by doing one show, one night only in Irvine at the Irvine Improv to get ready for that. And then uh, on May... What's what's the Netflix is a joke festival? That was Ooh. what I was about to get yeah. to. Yeah. And then May 2nd, Netflix is a joke comedy festival in the LA area. Titus will be one of the opening night comedians. It's going to be at the Kookaburra Lounge, which Jen says is very cool. And I will so, be doing uh, Carry Monsters for the final time. Last time. Yeah, last time. And then uh, the week after that, I start breaking in a uh, tentatively titled Death Wish because America seems to have a death week wish. Week after that, you're doing one show one night only at Ontario Improv. We love that club. Then you will be messing. Great, I will be messing you with new stuff. material. Oh God, I just got, I just got scared. I got to write new material. Oh, oh. Learning. This might take. This is special. number eleven. I know, Come on. I know, but you know what's weird though is like, it, I, I, like this one took. This one is so good, and I mm. know I have to start over again. Mm. With a, it's like building a new house. Yeah, this house is perfect. Yeah, and now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta burn it down. I think you'll be alright. And build it. Yeah, I think, I think right, I think guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. For myself, the lovely bombshell Ray and the Highlander. Later. Peace out. There can be the